Hi there. Day three. Day three. Three. Of this video challenge. Um, yeah, here I am. <laughs> what I'd like to talk about today is um, more grounding. And this is about the body grounding into the earth. So when we practiced, the last couple of times that we've practiced grounding, we've grounded to our body and we did it by rubbing our fingers and then we grounded by calling our attention off of all of our thoughts out in the world, calling it back to our body. So now what I'd like to do is talk about grounding to the earth. So grounding to the earth is kind of like the next step. So we take our body that's grounded and we imagine a grounding cord that we reach down into the core of the earth, down into the center of the earth and connect with Mother Earth, with Grandmother Earth, with Gaia. And it's a practice that I learned from my friend and teacher, Art Running Bear, who's a Apache Tiwa, Native American medicine man, healer. And what you do is, first I'll talk us through it and then we'll practice it, okay? So what you do first is you imagine around your waist an energy, just around the center of your body and energy and you can imagine it in whatever way feels most real for you that's what's very important that you make it real for you so it could be um, ribbons it could be a grounding cord it could be a beautiful golden chain it could just be a flow of energy it could be a waterfall anything that when you think of a grounding cord it could be roots right which is what I like to use <laughs> Anything that feels real and right for you, utilize that. So we're going to imagine that and we're going to gently drop it in to the center of the earth, past the surface, past the crust of the earth and moving all the way down into the center of the earth. And then we're going to allow that energy to spread out and populate the entire planet. Yeah. Kind of crazy, huh? So we're going to practice that. So so let's first practice it. No, I want to practice it with the last two practices that we did. So here we go. So we'll start with grounding to our body. And we'll start with the um, physical, the rubbing the two fingers together. So, okay. So if you're willing, here we go. So close your eyes and or soften your gaze looking down and put two fingers together and with great attention and focus, rub them together. And this attention and this focus of yours is so present that you begin to feel the ridges of your fingertips, right? There's a hummingbird over us right now. I don't know if you can hear him. He's probably attracted to my red vest. <laughs> Sorry for the distraction. So rubbing your two fingers together with such attention that you feel the ridges on your fingertips and notice what it does to your body. Does your body begin to relax? That's what mine usually does. It begins to relax. And then the breath comes. It's kind of like a spontaneous breath kind of cues me into knowing that I've moved into a different state. I've moved into a state of being more connected with myself, 
more present in the moment, more grounded to myself. So from here, we're going to practice again the idea of being aware now, our awareness, our natural awareness ability to be aware of where our attention is connected out in the world. People, places, activities, thoughts, ideas, creations, whatever it is, wherever your attention is connected out in the world, notice it. We don't have to do anything with it. We're not trying to fix it. We're not trying to make it better, not trying to make it go away. We're just noticing it, being with it, being with the thoughts and noticing what does that feel like? And you're just logging it for yourself. You know, noticing, noticing is really important because it brings us to the moment and it connects us with our experiences, right? Which, what is life but a string of experiences? So it connects us with the experience of being in the moment, being with our self, and noticing the thoughts. What does that feel like? And then making a decision or an intention or a declaration to unhook from all those thoughts. So our attention, like I said before, is like a cord of energy. The Hawaiian Aka cord idea, it's a cord of energy. So as soon as we unhook it, then it is no longer servicing that thought. So that energy automatically and immediately flows back to you. So it's an act of letting go of the outside world and repopulating your inside world. And everything that's in the outside world, including the thoughts in here, we're not trying to change them either. Not at all. You are just unhooking from it and allowing it to be where it is, to live where it is, but to live where it is without your attention for this moment so that you can come back to your center. Re, it's like recharging yourself. It's like getting a battery lift, right? So we're allowing that to happen. We're unhooking, allowing the energy to flow back. And then we're noticing, what does that feel like? And for me, there's always this relaxation. It's like the muscles in my body begin to relax. And I connect that with the thought, if I'm not managing all those thoughts out there, my body isn't, then my body can just relax. There's basically nothing to do but just be. So we're allowing that to be. We're experiencing what that feels like. We're noticing it. And then we're going to add on to that now. Being nicely settled in our body, being nicely grounded in our physical body, we're going to use that natural awareness that I spoke about, which is your intuition, which is your imagination, which is your spidey senses, which is your gut feeling, all those that your knowingness, the mother knows, all those things, those are your natural, natural abilities. And in that natural ability and awareness, sits imagination and imagination is like the entry into your intuition into your higher levels of knowing and being aware and navigating through the world with a higher consciousness conscious awareness so we're going to use the imagination all that to say we're going to use the imagination to imagine a energy around our center, around the center of our body, 
like around our waist, around our hips. And then we're going to allow that energy. And the reason that we do it around our hips is we, we at first you want to make it as wide as your physical body, right? And that's like a wide spot on our body. So we're connecting to that wide spot in our body, creating this energy flow, circling around our waist, and then we're dropping it, imagining that it can just gently drop and reach down into the center of the earth. Just moving through the crust, moving through all the layers. And you may see things, you may feel things, you may notice things as you're mo moving through the layers. That's all perfectly normal. And you may notice nothing, and that's perfectly normal. So just allow yourself to have the experience that you're having and honor it, right? So allowing that energy to drop, your grounding cord to drop all the way down into the center of the earth, connecting with Mother Earth, with Grandmother Gaia. And she is there for us. In all the native traditions, in one way or the other, Mother Earth is there for us, always. We are intimately connected. This is a this is not a solo journey, so to speak. We are here with her in an understanding that we support her and she supports us and we're all connected to the highest self, right? So connecting to Mother Earth, allowing her to connect back to us, to fill us with her wonderful, beautiful, loving, kind, supportive energy and giving us that feeling of being safe and being exactly where we're supposed to be, knowing that our body does not have to worry. It doesn't have to anything. It can just be present and be safe and be full and be connected and be vibrant and be healthy and be loved and be present and be present and be present in the present moment. So I'm gonna leave us here today and allow yourself to have it for as long as you want and then let it go and move back to your natural state of being and awareness. Until next time, thanks for stopping by. We'll talk again later, all right. Bye.